So next we're going to look at some, uh, sources of bias. Uh, bias is a, a systematic distortion of your statistical results, which come from something influencing the data. Now, one version of this we've sort of already talked about, and that would be what's called, uh, sampling bias. Uh, and sampling bias is what you get when your sample is not actually representative of your population. Uh, and then the data this that you collect from your sample can't really be trusted, and it has a... it's distorted because it is not representing the population that you're actually trying to talk about. Let's look at some other cases. So, consider a recent study which found that chewing gum may help m raise math grades in teenagers. This study was conducted by the Wrigley Science Institute, a branch of the Wrigley Chewing Gum Company. Uh, what potential source of bias should we be concerned about here? And you're probably jumping on the fact right away that this is saying gum is good, uh, from a study done by a gum company. Uh, this is called a, uh, or our concern here is a self interest study. This is called a self-interest study where the person conducting the research has an interest in the result, in this case a financial interest. Now that does not necessarily mean that the data is invalid or that the study is invalid. There has been a lot of very valid research done by companies with an interest in the study. Certainly all pharmaceutical research is done by uh, a self-interested party. But it certainly means that we should look at the results with an additional level of skepticism and really dig down to make sure that the results that they're providing are valid. So suppose we have a survey that asks people, when was the last time you visited the doctor? Uh, what should we be concerned about here? And the big concern here is something called, something called response bias something called response bias, and this is when the responder, uh, gives inaccurate responses for any of a variety of reasons. In this case, it's probably, uh, a memory issue where, you know, somebody might not remember, uh, the last time they visited the doctor and might think it was, you know, two months ago when it was, in fact, you know, seven months ago. And so this is a bias. Now, some of these are sort of intentional nefariousness, uh, you know, like a self-interest study, we might be concerned about intentional, um, you know, d deception. But oftentimes, these biases are not intentional, um, and in response bias is certainly one of those. So suppose that we, a survey asks participants a question about their interactions with members of other races, you know, how they, how well they get along with, uh, you know, black people or Asians. Um, what would we be concerned about here? Now here we have something called a perceived, perceived lack of anonymity. In other words, if, uh, particularly if this was g being given in a face-to-face, -face, um, um, interview process, the person who's being asked might, um, particularly if they have, you know, racial biases, they might, uh, be uncomfortable sharing that because they don't want to be perceived as racist. Uh, and so they may, um, be uninclined to give an, uh, to give a accurate answer. Something else like this is this question. Uh, oh, actually, this is a different one. Uh, so a survey asks, do you support funding research of alternative energy sources to reduce our reliance on high polluting fossil fuels? What should we be concerned about here? Uh, in this case, what we should be really concerned about is something called a loaded question. A loaded question is a question that, uh, or sometimes called a leading question, is a question whose wording, uh, sort of suggests an answer. In this case, you know, this, this use of the term high polluting fossil fuels is like, this is bad. Uh, and so, of, of course, somebody might be more inclined to say, why, of course I support stopping this evil polluting fossil fuels. Uh, whereas if the question was worded in a different way, um, you know, they, they, they might be less inclined to answer yes. Like if they said, do you think we should spend money on producing alternative energy sources, um, is, which is going to drive up the cost of your gasoline? Yeah, well that, then, then they might say no.